Hello everyone, I'm Douglas Santos dos Reis from Federal University of Santa Maria, and I'll present to you the paper entitled Object Recognition Software Using RGBD Connect Images and the YOLO Algorithm for Mobile Road Navigation. I organized the presentation of the paper by dividing it into the most relevant topics. First, I will begin with an introduction of the paper and its objectives. Then, in section 2, I will present to you the YOLO algorithm and how does it work. In section 3, we will be exposed to the hardware configuration used to accomplish the paper objectives. In section 4, we will be exposed to the software configuration used to accomplish the paper objectives. In section 5, we will present to you the methodology that was used, like the database preparation, the training, and so on. In section 6, we will be exposed to the results returned from the methodology applied in the paper. And finally, in section 7, I will summarize and conclude the presentation. So, the object of this paper is to integrate the YOLO algorithm with the information returned from the Microsoft Connect sensor. The integration of the object recognition with the object with the distance information allows to create a simple control algorithm to test the autonomous navigation of mobile robot with this information. The YOLO algorithm is based on convolutional neural networks, but it has some modification that allows to identify objects in real time. Summarizing, YOLO algorithm has a layer that, using the weights returned from a training process, passes just once over the image in order to detect the objects. This way of detection origins its name, you only look once. As can be seen in this slide, YOLO divides the image in rectangles. These rectangles are supposed to return the probability of having some of the objects that the algorithm was trained to detect, and then return the, which is the object that has the bigger confidence. Confidence is the amount of certainty that the rectangle has to be the object. Having the confidence values, then only the ones that has value, values bigger than the threshold value will be considered returning the final result. The hardware used to run the tests of the paper were, were, was basically the one shown in the image. Only the TV screen is not shown. In order to turn possible the communication with the NVIDIA Jets and TX2 was used the Orbit Carrier Plate that has some communication interface like USB connection, Ethernet connection and so on. The modem was used so the notebook can communicate with the NVIDIA Jetson TX2 and send the start command for the software. I had to use the modem because the Arbit Career Plate doesn't have the support for wireless connections. The Microsoft Connect sensor is connected directly in Arbit Career Plate in order to send information to the software. In order to develop the software, it was used some tools and libraries. The darknet is the neural network used. YOLO is a darknet neural network that is modified to real-time object recognition. PyDarknet is a wrapper that allowed, uh, allowed me to use the darknet neural network in the Python script. OpenCV is a library focused on computer vision application. It is open source and free to use. Freenact is a library that allows to use the Microsoft Connect sensor information in some programming language scripts, inc including Python language. Google Image Download was used in the preparation of the training database. It helped on getting the necessary images from the Internet. Starting the methodology section, there is the flowchart of the SES the software that was used to select the objects in the image that were downloaded and then creates the text files with the information of the localization of the object in the image. After downloading the image, this is what has to be done in order to prepare the database to the train. Summarizing the database preparation, there is the shown flowchart. The first step is the, to get the image and organize them, separating them in folders that contains only the determined object image. Then 
It is executed the object selection script that was shown the execu execution flowchart on the previous slide. After generated the text files with the information of that, the object localization in the image has to be done uh, information conversion for values that YOLO understands. Executing all these steps then can be presented to, to the train. The training will generate a weight file that contains information that YOLO needs to detect the objects. Now, in the results section, I will present the result that was obtained applying the methodology. First, there is a training result and the first execution of YOLO result. In the left side of the slides, we have the training graphic of YOLO re training result. In the right side, there is the table that contains the information of the reliability of the detected object in the first YOLO execution. YOLO training lasted about three days using a Google Cloud virtual machine that contained a NVIDIA Tesla K80 graphic card. YOLO training ended with an error about 0 0.34 value. For the first YOLO execution was expected in reliability with at least 70%. Most of the objects were detected with, with a bigger reliability, but the table object was detected with a 69% of, uh, of reliability value. It is smaller than 70% expected, but still has a good value, it's a good result. In order to use the distance formation, it was needed to discover how to treat the information returned from the Microsoft Connect sensor. In the OpenConnect website was found an equation that can be used to convert the binary information into the decimal information of distance. Using this equation to calculate the distance was obtained the red line information in the graphic. The blue line information was obtained using a measuring, a measuring tape and using the Microsoft Night Sensor as a starting measuring point. As can be seen in this graphic, the error between the calculated distance and the real distance is very small. The error reached a maximum value of 3.64%. Having the distance information and the weights needed to detect the objects, then it was proceeded to the practical tests. In this slide, it can be seen the detection of a common chair object and the offset chair object. In the, de the, in the detection, is made a box that indicates the object localization. In this box, on the upper left corner, can be seen the distance of the object in centimeters. Also can be seen the reliability of the object detection on the bottom left corner of the box. Uh, as can be seen in the common chair detection, uh, it has a reliability of 95.21% and its distance is 120.78 centimeters. In this slide, there is the same information as the previous slide, but in this slide, there is the image of the box object detection and the table of the object detection, alongside its distance and reliability information. Well, the objects of this paper were rich. It was done a software that integrates the YOLO object recognition information with the Microsoft Connect image and distance information. The error was pretty low in the object detection and the distance calculation. With this information, it is possible to apply the object methodology in order to create an autonomous navigation software for the most situations. It just has to be done a training that to detect the desired objects of the application. Finally, I want to thank the National Institute of Space Research for their cooperation in this paper, in special, in special for Professor Adriano Petri. To conclude my presentation, I just want to thank for the attention.